boys and girls, and welcome back to another week of art. This week we are using Model Magic to create a bobblehead pet. And I will show you how to create that. You're going to need two packs of Model Magic to create this. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to take my materials and I'm going to move them off to the side. I have a plastic fork and a pencil that I can use both of these to add different details with if I want to. I also am working on a mat. That way I keep the table nice and clean and it doesn't stick to anything except for itself. So if you need help opening Model Magic, you can take a pair of scissors and you can cut the top off both sides, both pieces, and then see this line that's running along there, you can tear those two apart so you have one piece ready and your second piece ready. So this first piece that we're using is going to be for the body, just the body. This next piece is going to be for the head as well as any details that you want to add. So we're gonna take this first piece of clay and we're going to roll it into a ball. And then the top of the ball, we're going to pinch and pull up to create a cone. So a nice little cone shape. And I'm going to press this bottom part down to the table and I'm going to make sure that I pull up so that I have this nice cone for the body. The cone is going to allow for the top of your bobble head to stay on and create that wavy back and forth that makes it look like it's bobbing back and forth. So you have like a nice little ice cream cone except it's going to be upside down. So this is for the shape, the body of your pet that you are creating today. All right, so that looks like a nice little cone. There's a lot of clay in this area and it's not too thin up here it's going to be able to support the weight of the head so i have the body right there i'm going to put that off to the side i'm going to take my second piece of clay i'm going to pinch and pull and this is for the head so we're going to make a little pinch pot for the head so i'm pinched off a little piece not the majority of the piece just a little bit and i'm going to roll that back and forth in my hand so that I make a clay sphere. I'm gonna take my thumb, I'm gonna press it into the center, and I'm gonna take my thumb and press it towards my fingers around the side, go all the way around. And I'm gonna push my thumb up so it makes a nice little bowl, like a little rounded top. And that's gonna be placed eventually, not yet, because if I place it on now, it's going to stick together. So don't press it together yet. You need to make sure that your pieces have dried completely before putting them together, but that will create that little bobble head for your pet. Now, you can choose whether to do a dog or a cat or even a bunny rabbit for one of your pet choices. So I'm gonna choose I'm gonna make a bunny rabbit for this one. So I wanna make some long ears for my bunny rabbit. So I'm taking two pieces of clay. They're about the size of my thumb to my knuckle. So see how it's a little bit bigger than the, the thumb to my knuckle. And I'm going to press those and roll them into a coil back and forth. So I have this long coil. I'm gonna press the end 
of it flat. I'm gonna round the top by moving my finger back and forth over the top of that edge. I'm gonna press it flat so that on the side it's pretty thin, but not too thin. And I can take that and I can press it on. I wanna make sure as I'm pressing, my finger is on the inside and my other hand is on the outside pressing towards my fingers. So that way it'll stick on. If I want to, I can bend this ear down a little to give it some a cute little floppy ear, or you can keep it straight, it's up to you. Next, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other ear, roll it back and forth. I think this side is a little thinner, so I'm gonna move my finger back and forth over it. Press it down, press it down to the table to make it a nice flat edge for the ear to sit on. I'm gonna press this flat. And I'm gonna press that to the top of my bunny's head. Now, if you're making a kitty cat or a dog, you're gonna do, essentially for a dog, you'll do the same thing. It just won't be as long. It'll be a little bit shorter. For a kitty cat, you're going to take your clay, roll it back and forth into a ball, or around into a ball, I guess, and then pinch the top, press the bottom on the table, tap it, and then pinch down, and that will create a little point, a little triangle ear for your kitty cat. So do two of those on either side. Okay, so that's an idea for a kitty cat, for a bunny, make them nice and long for a puppy. Don't make them as long, but do the same thing. Now we need to add our eyes and nose and mouth. So I'm gonna make two little circles for the eyes, one little circle for the nose, and then I'm gonna use a piece of coil for the mouth, okay? So I have my eyes, I'm gonna roll into a ball, Press down, there's one eye, roll it into a ball, and press down, two eyes, and then I'm gonna roll this into a ball for his nose, but then I want to pinch one side and press the other side flat, so it makes a tiny little triangle for his nose nice little triangle for his nose. Now I'm gonna take this coil that I created and I'm gonna split it in half. I'm gonna take one piece of the coil and bend it one way. And I'm gonna take the other piece of the coil and bend it the other way. So it's like a backwards J on either side. And then I, if I want to, I can use my pencil to draw some whiskers. Or if you want to use your extra clay to make some whiskers, you can do that too. Because your puppy and your doggy both need some whiskers. And sometimes the head might get a little deformed, but that's okay. You can just mold it back while it's still wet. And I'm going to put that part down because I'm gonna add to the body of my bunny rabbit. So I wanna see which side I want for the front and which side I want for the back. So I'm gonna use hmm, this side for the front and the other side for the back. So I'm gonna make two little paws in the front. So tiny little about the size of your thumbnail for the front paws, I'm gonna roll it into a ball, press it flat, and then I'm gonna place the paw in the front, like that. Do the same thing to the other paw. Press it flat, press it to the front, and then you can add your feet, which are a little longer. So these are gonna be more like coils. So I'm gonna roll it into a ball to start, and then I'm gonna roll it back and forth in my hand to make a nice little coil. I'm gonna place it on one side for a foot there. Do the same thing with the other side. 
roll it around into a ball, then back and forth in the palm of your hand to make a nice little cylinder coil for the other foot. As you can see his feet are there sticking out. And then I have a little rabbit, so he's got a little furry tail, a little cotton tail. So I'm gonna roll it into a ball. If you're doing a kitty cat or a puppy dog, you'll go back and forth after you roll it into a ball. And then you can attach it making like a snake design on the back. So it should be touching the body, okay? If it's like that, that's fine too. It just might come down and I don't want it to break off. So for the bunny rabbit, it's a nice little cotton tail, little fluffy ball for his tail. All right, and then we can add some details. We can add little lines to create the little toes on the front <clears throat> and little toes on the back. You can draw in to add little stripes or dots or patterns on your bunny rabbit or your puppy dog. Uh, you can do the inside, little arch for the inside of your rabbit or your kitty cat or your puppy dog, however you wanna decorate. If you wanna add, use your fork and add different textures with your fork, you're welcome to draw little fur patches with the fork to create some texture. And you can draw the little front part of the body with your, with your pencil if you want. Adding lots of different details. And then once it's dry, you'll be able to put the head on top and you'll have a nice little bobblehead kitty or puppy or bunny rabbit. And then if you would also like, you can use watercolor paint and paint to decorate your clay creations. I cannot wait to see your amazing clay artwork that you've created. I'm so excited to see which pets you choose to make. I hope that you enjoyed this project and we'll see you again next time.